So this is Kevin, um, he's been volunteering with the Broader View in Xela, Guatemala. Um, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Kevin, I'm from the Seattle area, um, and I'm studying medicine. And at what project have you volunteered? I volunteered at a health clinic here in Xela, and um, what I did usually was um, vaccinate children. Um, so I did mostly vaccination. I also worked um, at an HIV clinic, at the same clinic, um, a little bit. Um, and that was a really fun experience. One of the coolest things that we did there at the clinic was um, uh, they let us help um, take stitches out and clean wounds. And um, today, actually, I did my first um, suturing. So they let me do that. It was really fun. And what was the most memorable part of your volunteer experience? Um, the most me me memorable? Um, I don't think that there was one specific memory that really um, stands out to me, but um, just going to the, to, the, to the clinic every day, and, and um, since I've been here for three months, um, the people at the clinics, they know me, and when I walk in, they, they say, Oh, Kevin, how's it going? And it's just a fun atmosphere to, to, um, to be friends with these people in Guatemala. And uh, what was your accommodation like? My accommodation was great. I lived in a, um, a family. There were um, about five people in the family, um, and um, people just the other part, other family members just kept coming in like throughout the day, and and so it was just kind of a kind of a circus at my house. But I really loved it. Um, I'm kind of from a pretty big family, so it was nice to uh, to be in another family. Um, there were kids. Um, there was like usually around lunchtime, the nieces and nephews came over. So there were like three or four kids between the ages of five and eight. Um, I also lived with um, my host mom's daughters, um, and they were um, in their, I think, older 20s probably. Um, and so yeah, there's lots of people around, and, and it was great to have them help me with Spanish, and, and um, if I had any questions about what to do in the area, they would help me, where to buy certain things, how much a taxi should cost. Um, just little things like that. Um, it was great. I loved it. The food was awesome. Um, every time we had new meals, my host mom would tell us what it is and, and where it came from. And, yeah. And what did you do in Shela and in Guatemala in your free time? Um, in my free time, we there was a lot of things that we could do outside of Shela, and they were like the big, uh, the big trips that we took. Um, the biggest trip that we took was probably to Tikal and to Rio Dulce, and that took about four days. We, um, we left on like a Thursday and we got back on a Monday. And, um, and we saw the, the ruins in Tikal and we saw um, Playa Blanca, which is on the Caribbean coast of Guatemala. And uh, it was really beautiful. Um, and we also, another trip we went to was um, Lake Atitlán, which um, was an amazing trip. We also, on that same trip, we went to Chichi Castanango, and um, it was amazing. One of the, the best part about those trips was um, we just told a broader view that we wanted to, to take these trips, and then they planned everything out for us, and they said, this is how much it's going to cost, and everything is, you know, private transportation, and and um, you'll go here this time, and, and we obviously had a say in what we wanted to do, but um, it was very helpful that they just kind of figured everything out for us, and then we just went. <laughs> so um, that was really nice. Um, we also went to uh, some, um, uh, like, tourist attractions around Shela. Um, one of them was, a, like, a, an like amusement park. Um, called Chocomil um, and Chetulu, and that was really fun. Um, very different from the United States. Um, 
And just little things around um, around Chela, we hiked to Tahumulco, which is the highest um, peak in Central America. And um, horseback riding, we went horseback riding. Uh, just little things in, here in Chela that there are tons of things to do, even in the city, like walk around the shops here, around Central Park, and and, um, and the markets, and La Democracia, and, and it's a really it's a really fun place to be. There's lots of nightlife. And stuff like that. Okay, and why did you choose a broader view, and how was your support in country uh, and in the office? Yeah, so I um, chose a broader view. Um, because I wanted to see a different part of the world and I wanted to, um, to get experience in the medical field before I went to PA school is what my, my goal is. Um, so um, I honestly just googled abroad uh, opportunities, and, uh, medical abroad opportunities and, and a broader view was one of the first things that came up and I researched some, some other um, companies as well and I really liked the broader view because um, Everything seemed very legitimate. There was, um, you know, they had their um, documents saying that this is, you know, a, a real program, and and uh, they had these testimonials of people who've done it before, and and everything seemed very, um, very legitimate. Um, so I chose a broader view, and the support in country was amazing. I um, I remember before I came to Guatemala, I had all these questions about what to bring and, and, um, and how my flight was going to work and, and just things like that and I would email a broader view or call them and um, it was immediate response like emailing especially I was very surprised that I would email like in the morning and by the afternoon and have a response and, um, and they were they seemed like they definitely had these questions before so they knew exactly uh, what to say and how what I meant by my question. Okay, and would you recommend this program to future volunteers? And do you maybe have tips for them? Yes, um, definitely. <laughs> I would recommend a broader view. Um, it was it was an amazing trip, and if I ever um, go abroad, I probably will go through a broader view again because I had such a, a good experience. Um, one thing that I would suggest before coming to um, Guatemala or, or wherever, um, especially in Shela at least, the city is bigger than I thought it would be. It's more, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a city, it's the second biggest city in Guatemala. So um, I was afraid that I was going to forget something uh, and what would I do if I forgot like something very important. But I mean there's a Walmart here, you know, like you can buy anything that you would need here in Guatemala. I remember I didn't have a raincoat. I brought a raincoat, but I didn't bring one that was small enough to just fit in a bag that I carried around all the time. And so I just went out and, and, and bought a little like rain jacket. Um, so if you don't, if you're freaking out about what to bring, um, don't worry too, too much because you can just buy it here in Okay. Well, thanks a lot and Thank have you. a good trip home and thanks for your great work. <laughs> Thank you.